Hello everybody and welcome back to some Half-Life 2. We are back once again, jumping in, and yeah, we are um, on our way to Ravensholm, is it? Ravenholm. Ravenholm. Yes. The sign is literally on the ground behind you. Oh damn. <gasps> yes, a new toy to play with. Oh god. Why is it always the biggest, most unwieldy object? If you're wondering about the roller mine, Turtle was playing with it while we were gearing up to record, and then he just punted <laughs> it into the distance. I did. Because I, I guess he just didn't like something that could fight back. Not so to you won't this really be able to carry something all the way through Ravenholm. It, because like Ravenholm is meant to be a place where you're supposed to use the gravity gun a lot. Ah, okay. It's basically a giant gravity gun playground because there's not much. A there's a lot of enemies and not much ammo. I've so seen you these. Out... Yeah, you like fire yep, the saw to... blades at enemies. Yeah, I've seen. You this. need to use the environment to kill things. So fucking cool. I like this. I have to say, I am really enjoying Half-Life 2 also, at the minute. Barrels. I think it's such a good game. Yeah, there's a lot of barrels. I'm seeing that. <laughs> you, can, you can pick them up and throw them. I realize that, but I like the saw blade for now. Yeah, I know, I know. I've uh, You've played Gmob. Yes, I, I recognize. The fuck is that? Perhaps. Oh. Who the fuck's talking? You'll see. Can I, like, lob an explosive at this thing to turn it you off? Can... You can crawl underneath it. Oh, shit. Where the fuck did you come from? Uh, yeah, your, your hitbox when crouching is uh, shorter than the blade. Also, it kills zombies, so you don't want to leave it turned on. Oh, wait. I think I'm like, chill here and, like... Yep. Go out, these suckers. Ah, oh, fuck! You want to box at me. But it got destroyed by the uh, blade. Goddamn, they made the, uh, they made the zombies so much more gory in this game. <laughs> I mean, it's not like it was a design decision. I'm pretty sure it was just a technical limitation. Like, I uh, yes, I love that, like, three polygon gore you have there. That is true. Oh, that's some soft words, I see. Oh, the triple kill. Nice. Oh my god, that's a crispy corpse right there. Crispy man. So pretty much the, the saws are particularly effective, but pretty much anything thrown with enough force will, will kill, kill yeah. things. Yeah. Nice. So Yeah, so like remember how I said that Valve was showing off like, oh everything in our game has weight values and everything. Um yeah, that actually comes into play with the gravity gun, because the heavier something is, the more damage it deals when lobbed at force. No, just let him, let him, leave him. Because if he tries to jump at you, he's oh, going to go true, straight yeah. into the fan. Whee! <laughs> oh, wait, there's another guy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it still got him, right? It was turning off. Batter up. Honestly, the fact that it was slowing down was even better. Yeah. Batter up. <laughs> but yes, um... So the the zap from the gravity gun does do a small amount of damage directly, but it's really not enough to even bother with because it like takes five, like not five, but like three hits to kill a head yeah. grab, and it's really not worth it. Oh, it's this dude! It's the creepy priest, Peter Priest. How dare you! He looks like an absolute pedophile. Like in in basically any G mod skit, they always use the skin to signify a creepy guy. Hello, creepy priest. His name is Father Gregory, and you will respect him because he is a sweetheart. Father Gregory. Father Gregory, like the Russian the name. Gregor Gregory. So, these fire traps are connected to gas ca uh, canisters. So you've cut off the gas to that fire trap. And that button was the spark to ignite it. So if you turned it back on, if you turned the gas back on, you could press that spark to... Uh... <laughs> so 
So there's actually someone in the room with you right now. What the fuck? Who? Where? In the cage. A friend. He's not alive. Oh, nope, he is. So this is to sort of teach you about the gas traps. Aha, I see. That's just me. I know, but I always do that. Even though you don't have to kill him, I, I just always do that because I guess I'm just a terrible person. So yeah, Ravenholm's all about using the environment to kill. Yeah, I like this area a lot. You should get that on my hand, you little shitbag. Line him up. Boom! <laughs> The head trap survived. Ah, nice. fuck! Where's my sword work gone? Oh, yeah. The atmosphere is also really cool. It's, this is like the most Half-Life comes to being a, like, typical zombie apocalypse oh, game. My god. Oh, that's probably a bad idea, isn't it? I like how you see um, a crispy corpse on the electric fence and immediately decide to join them. Well, that didn't work as intended. Was I meant to hit that little stick? Ah, uh, you can get into that building. You need to go in, you can't do it from outside. Heck. But yeah, this is sort of a look into the world outside one of the major cities. So, up to this point you were in City 17, which is a city, like, run by the Combine, where even though it's a dystopian hellscape, it's relatively safe. Yeah. From zombies. Whereas now you're seeing a city that the Combine just haven't bothered, like, taking haven't, over. Yeah, yeah. They've not protected. Ravenholm. And it's just been completely destroyed by zombies. I love the fact that Gravity Gun has unlimited ammo. I thought it was limited. I don't know why it would be limited. I don't know, I just thought it seems like a powerful, like, utility. I thought they'd limit it. They want to show off their physics engine. Why would they make the physics engine ammo based? I don't know. Any help there is a lambda anyone? cache in this room if you want to find it. Where? On top of the generators. Oh, fuck off. Oh, climb, you boy. Yeah, climb, Gordon, you fuck. So I think that was the, uh... I did think there was something up here, considering I saw this. Nice. Uh, suit energy, but you got ammo for things that you <laughs> already ha had full. God damn it. Oh. But yeah. It's fun me. to just explore the environments. Yeah, it is. I love how they've, like, they did splatter. What do you mean, splatter? Like, when you kill something near the wall, it splatters oh, right, onto yeah. the wall. Which is like a staple in Source games, but it's still impressive, I feel. What the fuck are these? They're like mutated headcrabs. Genetically modified head crabs. Oh damn. Oh damn. So are we gonna start seeing some like weird combine creepy little oh my god, that creepy. And if you let one hit you, uh it does something special. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> so they are, not only are they creepy, they put you down to one health. Detected. Yeah, they put you down to one health and you just sort of recover health to round about where you were. But they're, they're toxic, they're poisonous, they're venomous headcrabs. People call them the poison headcrabs even though that's not like accurate to how poison is. 
Goddamn it's though, venom. It's spooky. But yeah, I love them. Because they're just... Oh, it's such a nice mix. The only, like, thing that... Because you've got to imagine, right? It opens up a lot of possibilities when you think the Combine has been experimenting. Well done, brother. Yeah. Make free use of my traps, but take care not to fall in them yourself. Behind you! Oh, oh hello. In Ravenholm, you do well to be vigilant. Now where do I go? I believe uh, oh. you jump down onto that. I see, I see. Yeah, that thing that you saw at the same time that I did, but I still <laughs> pointed out because I want to seem clever. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Eat the head crabs. oh, there's a lot of headcrabs down here, holy shit. Oh, I've, I've picked up like the tiniest little shard of wood. I didn't even mean to get on this, but it works. No! No! You bastard of a game. You can dump it on their heads. Oh, hello. If you hit the lever again. I wish I had more weaponry right now. The game intends for you to use the traps in this area too. Kill them, just like he said. And standing on moving physics objects is, is always a bit, uh, fucky. Yeah, of course. Gregory. You hey, Father Gregory. My congregation. <laughs> He's a bit of a creep, isn't he? He is insane, but he is one of the friendliest characters. <laughs> He's one of the friendliest characters in Half-Life. Shoot it for me then, Gregory. It is you, brother. I apologize. But no harm done. Oh, it made it through. You can, you, you can actually push them with the uh, gravity gun, though, by zap zapping them. So you could have pushed it off the ledge. He's crispy now. But yes, Grigori is the last surviving member of... Uh, last surviving citizen of Ravenholm. Holm. Oh, you're alive. Not for long, boy. Oh, did you notice that, by the way? What? When you threw the... When you, like, gravity gunned him with the paint can, he got covered in paint. Oh, right. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One hell of a night out. Oh god. <laughs> um zombie oh. isn't real. Come zombie can't hurt you. <laughs> he's off, he's on his he's, he's on his own path now. Fuck off. Hey, thank you. But yes. The poison head crabs aren't the only new head crab type. There's this one too, fast head crab. Fast head crab. I'm guessing that's what that is. Yeah, they're not very strong, but they move. They, oh, that was a great it, it, show of things. It jumped at me at the exact time that I threw that. Well, I'm a bit crispy now myself. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's not a very heavy paint can, which doesn't really track. Yeah. Like, if I was hit with a paint can at Mark III, I'd think I'd, <laughs> and it's, I'd it's be a bit, you know... It's clearly a full paint can as well. Yeah, and if I was hit with a paint can at Mark III, I, I think I'd be a bit, you know, a bit peeved. <laughs> God damn, it's crazy over here. So many news. Oh, for God, fucking stop doing that, you shitheads. The moment I throw the explosive barrel, they jump at me. I keep forgetting you can pull stuff from really far away.
Yeah, no need to go down. Just like you're British, you know how carpet bombing works. Sure. <laughs> I think I've made a joke about the Blitzkrieg in like every <laughs> recording session we've had <laughs> in like the past month. Okay, that's most things dead. Now where? Uh... Most things. <sighs> yes. I hear one of them yabba dabba doing over there. Uh, I'm glad you saw that ladder because this is one of those areas where I always like miss the ladder and don't know where to go. <laughs> Right. He's gonna wake up now, aren't they? Look, actually. None of them have a the head crabs on. Oh, yeah. Hold oh, that head crab. Grigori's been doing some weird mad science with zombie corpses. Oh. <laughs> Told you he was a creep. He's, he's definitely creepy, but he's not a danger to you. Ooh, meat hook. He is merely helping his congregate, his unruly congregation, pass on. It's really nice when you can just line up. Yeah. Like three. I think my max is like five at once, but that was a really. I think it was in that like corridor. Yeah. Actually, I got. I just got them all lined up. You could probably do more if you were uh, a psychopath. <laughs> Oh, yes! <laughs> what the fuck is that? No thanks. I'll be going. Oh, it's these things. Oh my lord. Don't think uh, those collide with enemies. Uh, this is horrible. You, st you still have guns, remember? Nope. Oh, but the game crashed. Oh. Okay, uh... I don't know why that would happen. Well then, we'll be right back. Yeah. We is back. We is back. I don't know what that crash was about, but it happened. Um, I mean, let's, let's not kill the crew. Let's just table. all the sand. This is creepy as shit. Whoa. Hello. That was a, a, an epic shot with the <laughs> saw, though. Yeah, getting that crew. <laughs> yeah, no, that was so good. Like, one of the best gravity gunshots I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty proud of myself. Okay, let's not walk back into that loading zone because that seems to be what caused the crash. Oh, speaking of which, if you look to your. Go back. Into that alleyway that you were just in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you, you, you said the words loading zone just as I read the words loading. The universe aligned. This is proof we live in a simulation. <laughs> Gone, bitch boy. <laughs> I don't know why I found the head crab like, running down that little alleyway is so funny. Excuse me, don't jump over my saw blade. Little shit bag. Go away. Right, where are we going? I don't like that noise. Yeah, the noises in Ravenholm are great. Where the hell am I going there? I'm a bit confused right now. You alright, little fella? Uh, is there not a... I believe ah. you just sort of have to make your way th through the buildings I'm gonna say, I'm area. guessing it's through here, yeah. Oh yeah, this seg this section. Can you pick up the washing machines? Nope. Oh yeah, some stuff is big too set. big to pick up, sadly. Why I doesn't that top half and... survive? Like, like, like normally it creates a crawler, doesn't it? When the it's... headcraft's still attached, I think it'd create a crawler. I don't know. I would assume it's just too much trauma to the body. Maybe, and the head crab yeah. just dies or shuts down or something. I don't know. Look 
I may be good at Half-Life lore, but it's something I don't think is ever explained in the lore. God damn, I love these star blades. It's a pretty good. Oh, here he is again. The I think they can... I think the, um, half zombies can sometimes result from being cut in half. Come closer. Oh, you bitch. God damn this uh, fucking game with its we, stupid yeah, We bullshit. reload because he was going to do something for you there and you just <laughs> chopped off the building. Well, I just saw somewhere to jump to, so I thought, why not jump to it? You can lead a turtle to water yeah, and he will drink. Come closer. You've stirred up hell, <laughs> man after my own heart. Can you give me a shot, I have a more suitable gun for you. You'll need it. Catch. Good. Now, keep it close. My advice to you is aim for the head. Really? That's the advice you're going to give me? Thanks. I didn't know. I mean, he's not wrong. Move on and I will meet you at the church. That was rude. Oh, fuck. So, rules are the same as in Half-Life 1. Left click for a uh, single barrel, right click for double barrel. Wow. Look at this He's fella. quite the looker, isn't he? Oh, they have them on top of them as well. Shit. Yeah, they're quite pretty. Quite pretty. They can also climb. That they can. You can only do the double barrel if you have two ammo loaded. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Where the fuck do I go now? Even though I don't even think that's a double barrel shotgun, so... No, it doesn't make any sense. So it doesn't make any sense why you sh why you can, but you can. You just can. Why not? Yeah, it's a fast twelve. It's definitely not a double barrel. I why is the pipe moving don't know as they climb it? What the hell? Uh, because it's a visual indicator that it's being climbed, and also presumably having the weight of a whole zombie on it is rattling it around. <laughs> just a thought, maybe. Oh, just a second, I gotta put a blanket on my toes. Oh, I'm putting the computer on the ground. <laughs> that, that, that sounded so panicked. Ah, oh, I gotta put a blanket on my toes. My toes are so cold. Oh, I enjoyed this, by the way. Oh, hello. Oh, my toes are nice and covered. Cozy toesies. Now, Maybe this is just me, and maybe I'm a fucking, you know, I'm a, I'm a little pansy. But oh I... My Lord. Oh, you meet the poison zombie. What? You've got too good of a throwing arm, it just bounces off. You see that I managed to blast one of the grenades away with the blast of the other grenade. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. It's a physics system. I just didn't expect it to happen. That was pretty cool. I thought it would just blow up the other grenade rather than launching it. Yeah, so... Don't use the Magnum for head crabs. That's just a waste of powerful ammo. Yeah. But Magnum is a good one-shot kill for zombies, including the fastest zombies. So the head crab zombies are just these huge, bulky things that are that ha are just covered in other head crabs. Alright, barrels. No reason you throw all them at me. I don't know. Video games. Video. And they they just toss poison head crabs at you. They're basically yeah, big walking cat. Which can be a big problem if, like, you're put in a situation where you're surrounded. Oh, 
die, but stupid as shit. I, I got down. As I was saying, it is something that I find so... Like, it's, it's embarrassing to admit this. But I'm really fucking freaked out by the fast zombies. Oh, they are, they are very creepy, yeah. And I don't, I don't just mean in like a, oh yeah, they're freaky look, oh, aren't they freaky looking way. I mean that they like viscerally trigger just fear in my heart. You can turn it on if you want it to spin. No, I want to push it to make it spin. <laughs> Gotta get that exercise in. Exactly. But yeah, I... I don't know, there's something about it, like the way they move and jump and just fling themselves at you and the sounds they make. Oh, it just makes my skin crawl and... Oh, I don't... Me no likey. Me no likey. I believe there is something out on that balcony for you, by the way. I see. I have moved a thing that seems to have done relatively nothing for me. Oh, it's completed that walkway. If you look. Oh, I see, yeah. I did not see that walkway originally. Yeet! It's always worth it just to take a bit of damage if you get to do a cool barrel play. Exactly, yeah. I'm guessing it's through here. Hello. A casual stream. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Wait, what? what was the point in this? It's just sideway. How the hell do I get up here? There's a ladder there. Is there a ladder here? No? I just look, like, look at where the pathways are. It's... So, a neat thing about the barrels <laughs> is that they are programmed so that once you launch them from the gun, they are, uh, they are basically considered primed by the game. So no matter what they hit, they will explode. Oh, that's why that happened. There's one of them there. Oh, there's multiple of these here. Honestly, grenades Damn. are a very good way to... <laughs> oh my god, that was close. Oh. oh, they broke it. What the fuck? Maybe you should have just turned it by hand. So. Yeah, he's thrown all of his uh, head crabs, so he's just. If you look at his back, by the way. Ow. Oh, he These things are you, didn't so he? strong. I think it's mostly because you're missing a lot of your shots because they're such small targets. Must be. If you look at his back, oh my God. that's what they were clinging to. It looks like jam. That kind of reminds me of the Sumerian toad, actually. If you've seen that. No, I haven't. Uh, the Sumerian... I think it's the Sumerian toad. The Sumerian toad, the mother basically embeds the eggs in her back. And she carries the eggs under her skin. Ugh. And when they hatch, they, like, there's holes in her skin, and she looks like a honeycomb, basically. And the, the, the babies just crawl out through the holes to begin their new life. Oh, it's fucking awful and disturbing. And it's one of those it's one of those things that's posted like three times every day on the, the uh, trypophobia communities. Yeah. It's like it's like that and a lotus thing. Uh, and they post a lotus seed pod, and they post them like. Like, at least three times a day on those trypophobia websites because everyone thinks they're the first one to see it. Yeah. They and think this would be perfect for the community. No. I see now. I've made it over. But, uh, yeah, just like the carrying of the young on the back really reminds me of. Can you fucking stop? Hey, thank you. Fucking climb the ladder. Damn. There we go. That's not a happy ladder. <laughs> that made angry physics noises. Yeah, I love those angry physics noises. 
Shut up, Gregory. That was close. God's trying to tell you something. Just a bit. Uh, you know, I feel like these series... Just a question, do people watching these, and I know we don't... You know, do people watching these, do you like my inane ramblings? <laughs> or is it just annoying? I think that's part of the charm, really. The fact that we just talk about random crap. It's unrelated yeah, but to like, whatever we're playing. It might be more appealing, I guess, if I was better at talking. <laughs> but a lot of, like, a lot of the talking time... I just did it then. It's me repeating things. Because... Like, my brain... Basically, if you don't have a script in front of you, you can't actually say things very well. No, I can't, and that's why it freaks me out when people say, Oh, you've got such a good voice. You're such a good narrator. You should do this or do that or something. Because it's I'm really... Like, deep down, I know that I'm dumb. So this is just a <laughs> shortcut back to where you were before, if okay. you remember this room. Yeah. Yeah, so it's just a way to get back down if you missed anything. But I don't believe you did. So... But yeah, yes. the truth is, and it will always be, that I'm a buffoon. <laughs> oh, I was really hoping that the paint can would make him all come. Don't! Don't! No! <laughs> I've never heard you use the adjective cummy before, and I never want to hear you use it again. <laughs> I was talking about the uh, the zombies before giving me a visceral no reaction. That gave me an even worse one. Hello, <laughs> fella. Sorry, I'm still dealing with that in my own way. Uh, <laughs> I've sort of blasted him off the edge. Yeah, he's still alive, but he's not a problem anymore. That is true. Oh my god, fuck off. He shot him in the taint. Bye then. I like how... Another thing is that you're not really aiming for the head. Which is, like, what Grigori explicitly told you to. Because, like, a, a magnum shot to the head can pretty much take out most, like, things. Like, it should take out a fast zombie in one shot to the head, but... You've been hitting like, the torso and the shoulders and such. Yeah, you just don't play video games, I guess. You're a casual. It's not like I play a fucking first-person shooter basically every single day. What is what is what is that one? Uh, Warzone. I've never heard you talk about it before. Really? I believe you have I, to go up the scaffolding. I, I, I have uh, um, scaffolding. If you go back over the roof. Not scaffolding, the walkway. Oh, the right. catwalk. The um, catwalk is the word I was looking for. Yeah, I gotta say, I I, I have like a thousand hours on Warzone. I, I play it basically every single day. That surprises me. I don't think I've ever heard you talk about it before. Or the alternative is you have talked about it so much, but uh, just it was just care. so ungodly <laughs> boring that it's become white noise. No, I have I have I way too much time on uh, way too much time on Warzone. Me and my friend play it quite See, a lot. Yeah. Point it proven. Did. It did. It's much better to do a well-placed shot. Damn it. Oh, Gregory. Ah, there you are. At last. I will send the cart for you, brother. It will be but a moment. Patience, brother. Guard yourself well. Oh, don't say that. Here they come. This is tactic I've not actually used before. I prefer to wait till they reach you and shoot them point blank. I'm just like sniping. Ugh. There's something about the source engine physics noises that triggers an automatic smile, like a <laughs> giggle in me. Just, it's such a satisfying it thud. Is. And I don't know if it's because, like, it's such a, like, an actually such a good thud noise, or because my brain has just associated, associated it so it, yeah. much with the Source Engine memes. 
where like you'll see someone punching a wall and it'll be replaced <laughs> with yeah. Half-Life 1 or Half-Life 2 noises. Hook oh, fall off. Yeah, that was close. I think they anticipated this section would be more difficult. <laughs> Definitely. Whee. He gave up. He's going home. He's not. It's, it's not like they can jump really far or anything. It's not like jumping over this fence wouldn't be an absolute piece of piss for that thing. No, it's they're like God fearing, and this is hallowed ground. <laughs> He's a deeply religious zombie. You are to be commended for avoiding my traps. Uh, the work of a man who once had too much time on his hands and now finds time for nothing but the work of salvation. I suspect you have little wish to remain in Ravenholm, so I will show you to the mines. As for Perched me, on his bald head. a shepherd must tend to his flock, especially when they have grown unruly. <laughs> unruly. Me, and tread lightly. For this is hallowed ground. <gasps> it's what you said. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Sometimes NPCs are... If they have something placed Overhead. perfectly on their heads, if, when they try to move, if, it, if it, like they like can't... Sometimes they'll just teleport to the next node they're trying to walk to. Yeah. A lot of games and I didn't. I didn't know that that object could be... You. You. <laughs> I do love how the birds are actual entities that you can just shoot down. Tread lightly, sprints off at sport full speed. Get out of my way. Having fun Damn. in this giant zombie orgy. You, okay, you look like you're trying to pretend to be a speedrunner. <laughs> you're like, you're like jumping around, jumping off objects, getting weird momentum, but it's like this not going anywhere with this it. This game's just satisfying to like jump around at speed in. Oh, it definitely is. That's why it's such a popular speedrun game. Yeah. I bet you've seen these tombstones before as well. Maybe? Maybe it's just me, but I always use, like, the, the big gravestones when I'm doing shit in Gmod. I don't think I do. Oh, because, like, I, I, I've seen them a lot. Fucking excuse me! You little shit speedy boy. All loads of shit's going down right now. Child. That's a lot of fire. Return I believe it should go away. I think no worse of me. Trying it. to break the game. I am a bit. Oh, what, I mean, when are you not? Let's be honest. Okay. I do love Grigori's dialogue. It's very, it, it really is very religious, and I like it. It definitely fits the character. Yeah. Oh, the headcrab did it again! You little shit! Whoa! <laughs> oh my god, no! Oh, just try jumping forwards. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I thought I was stuck in an infinite loop there. Infinite loops are pretty difficult to get into. But they, they do sometimes happen. It's I've had them happen in Skyrim. Skyr Skyrim's really bad for that because when you load into the game, the game actually loads just a little bit before you gain the ability to control your character. So, like, if there's an enemy with, like, an arrow flying at you, it will hit you before you can even move. Yeah, in Half-Life, you can move as soon as the area loads in. Like...
the area and you are one. Grigori is doing something. He do it. While I hold the gate. Ah. Go quickly. Thanks, Gregory. Farewell, brother. I fear I deliver you to a darker place. May the light of lights illuminate your path. Look to your own <laughs> salvation. <laughs> Oh, I just want to get back over to Gregory. <laughs> All right, Gregory. Gregory. It's Gregory. It's Gregory. Gregory. Why is there nothing over here? What the hell? I think this was just an area that they decided why not let them go in. But like, at least put some health kits down there or something. Come on now. Uh, at ninety-four health. <laughs> And would be at more if wasn't a total idiot. So if you did notice, um, the Combine definitely didn't take control of Ravenholm, but that was a Combine headcrab shell. Major so they didn't yeah. take control of Ravenholm, and the zombies didn't destroy it entirely on their own either. The Combine shelled them with headcrabs. Which is pretty fucking horrible if you think about it. Yeah. This barrel pissed me off. <laughs> doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, the idea of just destroying a population by shelling them with zombie parasites is nasty. It very much is. Don't bring that one towards no, I was, you. I was fair. bringing it over towards this area to kill the ones below me. That's what you can say, but I don't believe you. <laughs> well, you should. You can afford. This area is quite very spooky. Boom. Yeah, and, you know, Ravenholm wasn't a small city, if you look at it. Yeah, definitely. It must have had a, quite a decent population. Yeah, it, I think it's, like, must have been some sort of mining town. Seems like it, yeah. Because, well, for one, you're literally in the Ravenholm mines right now. Two, there was a lot of, like, factories and stuff that, while not uh, explicitly mining, definitely matches the theme. Yeah. And, uh, this is somewhere in Eastern Europe. When I think of, like, towns in Eastern Europe, I think of mining towns. Yeah. That and the Atom Grads, but they don't really count. Atom Grads? Have you not heard of the Atom Grads? I have not. Uh, okay, so I don't speak Russian, so... My apologies to anyone who is Russian. But when I get down, don't stand in front of the mic. I was already car. crouching, but no, you it, you weren't hit by the blades. You got smacked the in the face by the now. cart. Yeah, the Atom Grads were. I think Grad means like town or city or something. <laughs> yeah. I don't, again, I don't speak it, so apologies if that's horribly wrong. But the Atom Grads were a series of Russian towns built to, uh, built around, I believe, the Chernobyl power plant? Mm. It might have been a different one, but basically their function was to serve as residence for those working on the, uh, on the react. Another one. Impressive. <laughs> Yeah, it was basically meant to serve as residence for the people working on the reactor and, like, to s help supply the reactor and so on. And they've become some of the, uh... S some of them are being used as laboratory, like, basically test facilities now 